frame and a woven seat. And for the seat, I'm using three and a half inch wide uh, jute webbing. And um, this is usually used in upholstery applications, but you don't normally see it. I just thought it would be really cool woven on this frame. So if you followed the plan, you'll already have your frame constructed and finished. It's easier to just do all the staining ahead of time or painting, whatever you choose, and then to add the um, seat last. So what I've done is I've already started with a couple of pieces and I'm going to show you how to attach it. So I have it upside down. It makes it easier for me to staple it. And um, uh, the jute is not going to have any gaps in between it. I wanted it to just be a full solid weave. So what you'll do on this first side is wrap it around and then it's going to tuck underneath itself which I'll show you on this side when it's a little bit easier. And then use a stapler to staple it in place. Oh, and there goes the compressor. Okay, so then you're going to tuck the raw edges underneath itself and pull it and make sure it lines up and come back around on the other side and tuck it under. You don't have to wrestle with it because you don't want it to be super tight, but you want it to be snug. And another tip when you're constructing your frame, what you're going to want to do is sand off the rough edges so that it's not so sharp because eventually after sitting on the bench and, and moving around, it'll, it'll wear through your jute and you don't want that to happen. So you want to put a rounded edge on it either with sandpaper or you could use a round over bit with a router. So you just put the jute on here. I'm only putting six staples in. I highly recommend a pneumatic upholstery stapler because it's easier. Um, the only thing is, is it doesn't have a safety. Don't ask me how I know that. Um, but it, it's so much easier. I, I don't like to use the regular manual staplers because I wrestle with those. I don't have a whole lot of hand strength. I'm a whip. So you go along and attach all of the shorter pieces here. Now we're ready to do the longer pieces and obviously there's fewer of those but they're going to be woven in and out of the shorter pieces and on my bench because um, math is hard I didn't uh, make the, the depth of the bench so that the pieces will butt up against each other so there is going to be a space but that's okay. So what you want to do is you're going to connect it to your frame exactly the same way as you did the shorter pieces and you're just going to weave it across and then secure it on the other side. there that's it so if you use webbing that's just a little bit narrower um, you'll have you can readjust the the plan to, to fit that so they're
flush against each other or you can just leave a little bit of space like I had to do on the sides here. But other than that, that's it. Thank you.